Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and it's been quite a while since I did my last Kickstarter roundup video but here I am again to show you some interesting projects around board gaming on Kickstarter. Yeah, and my first game for today is Ava Roma, now in the so-called premium edition. I did a walkthrough for the very first campaign already, but the designers decided to stop or cancel the first campaign. There were some complaints, there were some questions, some uncertainties. I think some of the people were really not satisfied with the overall look and feels of the artwork, the game board. And yeah, the designers listened to all of us and stopped the campaign and rebooted it. And yeah, guess what? We nearly reach 200% already of the funding goals so I think yeah originally they were asking for 20,000 bucks here or euros and we are slowly reaching 40,000 and we still have 18 more days to go yeah and you can see it for yourself the no new retail version still comes with a round game board which I personally really do like a lot but the overall artwork has been completely redesigned and I Pretty sure they did a very good job. I, I love the look and feel here totally. To be honest, I was okay with the uh, first draft or with the first version of the board, but yeah, when I see now the re here I, I'm pretty sure that most of you out there might definitely prefer this one here too. The same is true for all the cards here where they did complete overhaul of the overall art. Well, this, these cards look really completely different and my walkthrough and Rado's walkthrough is still available here on the Kickstarter page so if you want to see what the original components look like, the prototype components of course, then you can check out both of our videos to get an understanding of how much effort they really put in here to reboot this campaign. So overall, this is really a great exercise of how you can actually run a campaign on Kickstarter. Awesome. When you want to know what this game is all about, again, I'm asking you to check out the walkthrough video or run-through video of Rado or my walkthrough video on my channel. It's again linked on this Kickstarter campaign here. Both of the videos are available here. But in the end, it's basically a worker placement game. It has some very unique mechanic on how you place those workers because the workers you're placing in a given round are not the workers that you're necessarily getting back by the end of the round because they do come with different number values on them and they really don't belong to you because they're neutrally colored and basically each other player can claim some of your workers back by the end of the round, which is really a job well done. And overall, I like the theme of this game, so Roman Empire kind of game are always great. I'm a big fan of Tryon myself and I think I also mentioned in the walkthrough this is nowhere near Tryon here. These are really two different games but the overall theme fall into the same category and I think as I mentioned yeah you still have 80 more days to go. I think for 40, uh, 50 euros you can grab yourself a copy here. I think this is free shipping to the US and Zone 1. I have no idea what Zone 1 is but it seems to be okay. I think yeah there there's also a pledge level for 50 euros where you can do an Essen pickup for the premium version and of course you're also getting all of the stretch goals that might be unlocked until then. And speaking of stretch goals, there are already a couple of them unlocked. So we see here the linen finish on every board and token is unlocked. We see a new cardboard scoring aid. We see new building cards, new war cards. And in the meantime, they were also able to unlock the Kickstarter exclusive player order marker for the player, which is nice. And you see it for yourself. Some new patron cards are already waiting to get unlocked anytime soon. Overall, I really think this is a great game. They did some slight rebalancing of some of the rules, which works perfectly for this game. So they just changed the value of some of the action spaces where you place your workers there, and this completely changed the game to make it really an outstanding game. I really like it a lot. And again, you have a couple of days left to back it for yourself. The next project is really something which I personally love a lot. It's not actually a board game, it's an English version of my all-time favorite role-playing game, The Dark Eye in Germany, that's the Schwarze Auge, and I think it's in literal, it's written here more than 30 years, and I'm 
pretty sure I'm one of the first kids to play the Dark Eye here in Germany. I really remember when I put together all of my money I was able to collect at that time. I really think I was maybe 11, 12 or so at that time. I don't know. Maybe I was even younger and really took the last of my money and went to some of our uh, stores here to buy myself the very first box of the Dark Eye. And I was really, from then, I completely fell in love with this system here. Of course, I was kind of aware there is something out there which is called D&D, &D, but I was not really able to get into that, though I was really happy enough to get hold of the Dark Eye. And it really took them quite some time to really come up with an official English version here. And now you can really jump into the world of Aventuria and yeah, fight together with guys like Alric, who was basically one of my first characters <laughs> I had to play. And there was some kind of a solo mission or solo adventure included in the very first box. And this name was Ulrich. <laughs> and uh, as of then, Ulrich is basically the character in Aventuria or in the world of the Dark Eye here. For $50, you can basically get some core rules physical. I think you get the core rules. You also get them as PDF. You also get the first adventure which seems to be the witch stance here yeah, i have no idea what this is all about what i really like a lot they changed the overall artwork considerably so the artwork that you are seeing here you see it for yourself is really awesome i like it a lot when i really think of the old um i think it was on pencil drawers and such really very basic artwork but i still loved it quite a lot so overall they really did an amazing job to come up with an english version of this system here if you never have heard about the dark i really encourage you to reach out to your lists and check out the campaign here. especially if you are into fantasy role-playing games then this one is certainly a no-brainer in the meantime i really played a lot of different systems and i still always come back to the dark eye myself this is really my number one role-playing game out there and I guess, yeah, you still have 19 days to go. I think they're already overcommitted around, yeah, 600% or they reach 600% of the original funding goal. So there are certainly a lot more stretch goals here to come. And yeah, then there is Space Race, the card game, a very intriguing game about a race to the space. So not necessarily a 4X game or whatever, alien race fighting against mankind, you name it. No, this is really, let's say, a game where different nations are really struggling to be the first man in space, the first man on the moon, you name it. Rado did a great run through for this game, so if you want to know more about it, I encourage you to check it out if you have not already done so. Pretty sure you have, or most of you should have done that already. The designers or the creators already collected 32,000 bucks. You still have four more days to go. I think we will definitely see some more stretch goal what's really cool is that the designers offers for once a print and play kit so you can really print out the components for yourself and try it out and they also provided a free public tabletopia version of the game so again you don't need an account or a paid account on tabletopia you can just go there and test it for yourself and this is really a great way or i think they really have a lot of confidence that their game does deliver let's say a great gaming exercise that they really do providing this free access to their game. Overall, really a job well done. I cannot express enough how much I love the artwork and the style of the cards on this game. So this is really an awesome experience and really provides a lot of fun. And as I mentioned, you still have a couple of days to go in order to grab yourself a copy. And here you see it for yourself. The project is European only friendly and it's US friendly. It's Canada friendly. We have some kind of free shipping and they all will also provide a money back guarantee. Again, they are really demonstrating a huge level of confidence about their game. And the last game for today is Darkest Night, the second edition, which is also a rebooted campaign. Actually, the very first edition or the very first campaign was just cancelled a couple of days ago. It wasn't 
doing really that bad. But you see it for yourself, this campaign still has a month to go or nearly a month to go and we already reached the funding goal of $90,000, which is definitely not too bad, I can assure you. But there were really some serious complaints out there um, about the level or the pledge level. So in the original game, you had to back for the miniatures. Now they really listened to you folks and really came up with an exclusive add-on in order to gain the miniatures. I think there is also a pledge level where you can basically get both of the game and the miniatures. But what's really more important is that you now get the full game within one pledge level. So for $109, I believe you get the version without the miniatures. I think there is one pledge level. Yeah below $150 you get the full game including the awesome miniatures some of you don't like those miniatures or don't need those miniatures they are fine with the cardboard standees and some of you who are using the first edition of the game and just want the let's say miniatures they also find a pledge level here for $59 so overall this is really a very cool demonstration as well on how you can actually run a campaign listening to your fans listening to the folks on the geek and really taking all the advice and recommendations seriously. Some of you might have seen that, that both my friend Doug Herring and I did a full playthrough of the game. Doug was focusing on the full four-player game. I was more into the two-player dual-class variant. This is something we basically discussed between each other because we both wanted to provide a different, let's say, experience or a different view on the game. But here I think you see the first episodes of our full playthroughs. I think my was six episodes, Dark's was I think eight or even more. Cannot really quite recall. So really some hours of awesomeness through the lands of Darkest Night. One of the new mechanics, the so-called sparks, which I personally like a lot, this or I think a pretty good idea to introduce something like that into the game here, is now part of a so-called stretch goal. So with 90k it's funded and yeah, we already funded it, great news. I think with 150k, yeah, we see some hero powers and sparks. So I think each of the hero class now gets three more power cards to choose from and this is really, really great. And of course, then the stretch goals go on. So you see new quest cards at 125k, 145k. You get this awesome organizer tray. I really want to have some of the of this because right now you can really put everything into one box, and this is so cool. I when I think about my first edition, I think I still have to keep it in at least two or three boxes to keep all the cool content organized somehow. And this is really also something where they heard you guys and really came up with one box that is able to carry all of the awesome components. And yeah, I guess in the meantime you really did understand that I'm a big fan of Darkest Night and I promise I haven't gotten any money from Victory Points at all to say stuff like this. I really do like this game a lot. This is the reason why I really did two playthroughs myself here. You still have 28 days to go to back it for yourself. I think the pricing now is really reasonable. You can select for yourself of what you want to get. I think the pricing for the miniatures is also very reasonable $50 for a huge set of awesome awesome miniatures let me see if I can find them yeah there they are and they really look great I haven't seen them in, or I haven't touched them yet I think this is right now everything 3d related stuff but if the final product come anywhere close to the quality I'm seeing here I'm pretty sure this will be a great great addition to the game and yeah I'm really encourage you to check out the playthrough of Dark or my one in order to whatever get behind the changes within this game and as I mentioned the changes are really more in respect to the overall graphics design and how the game actually looks and feels like. And yeah, this brings me to the end of my Kickstarter roundup for today. I really do hope you found some interesting project out there. You will certainly find the links to all the campaigns in the description of this video. And yeah, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And until then, bye bye. <laughs>